Hey everybody, I'm going to be covering a cold case tonight, and this is Brian Dos Santos Gomez. He went missing 12-1-2006 from Fort Myers, Florida. It's a non-family abduction, male, Hispanic. He was born 11-3-2006, makes him 18 years old. He went missing when he was only three weeks old. This is the age progress photo. This is a similar photo of the vehicle that abducted him. And this is a composite sketch of the woman that possibly abducted him. Brian was abducted from Fort Myers, Florida on December 1st, 2006. He and his mother, Maria D. Fatima, Ramos dos Santos were waiting with Janice, Maria's friend, at a bus stop when a woman drove up and asked for directions. She said she had been driving around for eight hours trying to find her mother's house. Maria, Brian, and Janice got on the bus, but the woman followed the bus until they got off of the bus and she asked them for help again. Maria, Brian, and Janice got into her car. She, um, the woman later let Janice go. Shortly afterwards, she demanded $500 and made threats to Maria. She said she was going to Tampa, Florida, but not to tell the police this or she would harm the woman's families. She added that if the police stopped the car, the woman had to claim they already knew each other. The abductor eventually dropped Maria and her friend off at the roadside near the housing development off Three Oaks Parkway in Estero, Florida. She told them they had to wait 10 minutes before calling anyone. Then she drove away with Brian. Neither Brian nor his, his abductor have been heard from again. A sketch of the abductor, which is right here. And this is the vehicle. She was five foot, well said to be five foot, four inches tall with straight black hair, which was partially pinned up in a bun. She wore blue jeans and a black blouse t-shirt and spoke Spanish. She is believed to have been driving a black two-door 1998 to 2003 Ford Explorer, which is this. And this is the age progress photo of Brian. What he may look like today. Maria stated there was a diaper bag and car seat in the SUV, indicating the abduction had been planned. The abductor should be considered to be armed and dangerous. So Brian's mom and dad came over to the country through smugglers and paid human traffickers that helped them move into the United States. Authorities at first believed that Brian's abduction could have been because of retaliation. <clears throat> After Maria and his father fell behind in payments, they owed to the smugglers. Walter Calio and a forcer for a smuggling ring and acquaintance of Maria's was detained in connection with Brian's abduction, but police could find no evidence to link him to the baby. He was deported to his native Brazil without being charged with anything. Brian's parents admitted to their illegal status 
and to owing hundreds of dollars to the smugglers, but denied that this could be the reason the child was taken. Investigators now believe Brian's kidnapping was a random crime. After his abduction, Fort Myers' woman went to the police and said she had been walking on the sidewalk with her infant grandchild when she was approached by a woman in a black SUV who asked for directions. This was the same general vicinity as where Brian was taken and occurred only hours after his abduction. The grandmother and Brian's mother both picked the same person out of a photo lineup. The woman they identified was later cleared of suspicion, but investigators stated the two incidents were too similar to ignore, and they believe Brian's abductor had also accosted the other baby's grandmother. The abductor may be a woman who wanted a baby of her own. Possibly she had experienced a miscarriage or a stillbirth before she took Brian. Brian's parent had two additional children following his abduction. Brian's father was arrested for driving without a license in 2009 and was given over to the custody of immigration authorities the following month pending deportation proceedings. He was released from detention under a supervision order in June 2010. However, it remains to be seen whether he will be deported or not. Maria stated she was going to try to get U visas for herself and her husband. A U visa is for victims of violent crimes and allows undocumented immigrants to remain in the United States legally for up to four years. Brian's disappearance remains unsolved and his kidnapper has never been identified. Authorities believe she may have been from South America or Mexico originally, or possibly a second generation immigrant and that English may be her first language. Although she spoke Spanish during the abduction, his case remains unsolved. Very interesting and very, a lot of twists in that in Brian's case. So remember, this is the SUV. This is the composite sketch. And this is what Brian looked like when he first disappeared. And he still has not been found yet. So please remember to hit the like button. Comment below the video. Let's get this case in the algorithm so we can bring Brian home. Thank you for watching. And as always, have an amazing night and sending love and light. Bye, guys.